Right, I don't want to go off on a... It's probably not time for a joke, is it? So, okay. So, we've got a few theorems. I think they're three to do with tangents. First one. If we are given this diagram on the left, and we're not told that, then, so if we're given a tangent, and there's a radius that touches the tangent at that point there on the circumference, then what we know is that this must be 90 degrees. And our reason's easy. Tan perpendicular to radius. That's another way of saying perpendicular. Well, at right angles or 90 degrees, something like that, right? So if we are given something like this diagram, we've got a tangent and we're given a radius. Now, it doesn't tell us it's a radius. How do we know that OB is a radius? Well, yeah, as I keep on saying, I'm interested in seeing what you're going to say, because I really am. Um, well, O is the center, and the line from the center to the circumference is always a radius. So there's another radius. There's a radius. I'm a radius. You're a radius. This isn't a radius. Now it's a radius. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we've got a tangent and a radius. Just type down quickly, how are you going to determine what angle X is? So let's see what you've written down there. Just make sure that you've given all your reasons. So firstly, we'll need to say that that's 90 degrees. And then you might have said that you're going to use angles in a triangle. Or you might have said, this will be interesting. I really want to see, did anyone say this is 90 degrees? And then you said exterior angle of a triangle. Oh, works out to be the same. That's quite interesting. I wonder if... I wonder if anyone did it with the exterior angle. I need to saw that now. Okay, so this second one. Again, I need to cheat and go, let's say we don't know these, no, yeah, these things. I should, I think I've got a pause button somewhere. So catch your breath, drink, sip that tea, coffee, water, whatever you're having, and go, okay, there we go, we're back. And we're given that we've got tangents, so we told that these are tangents. There they are. There's one tangent. There's another tangent. And we they come from the same point. Then what we know is, well, I haven't done well here. We don't know that. We just know that we got tangents from a same point. If they come from the same point, then we know that they are equal. Okay. So if they come from the same point, those lines must be equal up to that, up to where they touch the circle. Did you get that? Was that going a bit haywire? Okay, so if we're given these tangents come from the same point, they're the same length. And how this is normally used is normally we're interested in angles. So to find angles, then we've got, if we've got two sides here that don't look that great. There's a line. There's a line. If we've got two sides of equal length, what triangle can we create? And therefore, what, ang what do we know about angles in this triangle? Okay, so we created an isos triangle and therefore that angle equals that angle. This theorem only tells us up to here. So it tells us that these two are the same length, and our next reason would be isos triangle. So I want to work through one example together, and we'll do tan chord in the next video. So the one example here is we're given this whole long diagram, and I really just want to focus in. We're given this whole diagram, and really want to focus in on a. So we're given a tangent, and they come from the same point. So give all the reasons that you're going to need to state. So work through the question to find out what A is. Determine A. And I want a list of all the reasons that you used along the way. Okay, so here are the reasons that I can think of. And it is important that you state each one. At some stage, you went, great stuff. We can create this. We've got a triangle. Well, we know that that's equal to that. We've got an isosceles triangle. If that's 50, 
Well, then those two added up together must give you 130. So therefore, they're 65 each. Now, all the reasons along the way. Isos triangle you used at some stage. Some stage, oh, they all add up to 180. Oh, that's sum of angles in triangle. And at some stage, how did you know these two were equal? You used tan from same point. So there are three reasons that we need to give. And I think one, of the, one way to do it, I was going to say the easiest, I don't know, one way to do it to make sure we get our reasoning is just to start off by saying AP equals PT. AP equals PT. How do we know that? Tan from same, po same point. So this reason becomes our first reason. Then we can say, well, therefore, APT, triangle APT is isos and angle A equals 65 because of sum of angles in triangle. Just somewhere along the way, you need to mention isos triangle. You need to say tans from some point and sum of angles. So just make sure you've got all of those embedded there. Okay, we're heading towards 